Today my mom and I are going to show you how to make brown butter banana bars. We just got done making Cafe Rio sweet pork burritos, so if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out. But now we are going to make some dessert. Okay, so here we go. ingredients that you're going to need. So in this bowl, we've already mixed together two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and three-fourths teaspoon of salt. We're going to be using one and a half cups of sugar, a half a cup of softened butter, one cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of vanilla, two eggs, four ripe bananas, and we're going to mash those, and then we will put all of that together and it will make the most delicious banana bars ever. Okay, to start, we're gonna mix the sugar, the butter, the eggs, and the sour cream all in the bowl and blend that together first. And are you gonna use the beaters? Yes. Okay. Because I'm not that strong. Yes, you are. And I hope you're not gonna watch me crack eggs. I'm really <laughs> bad at eggs. Okay, we're just going to add all that up and blend it together. Okay, I'm gonna start mashing the bananas, but before I do that, I forgot to mention that you should preheat your oven to 375. So you should do that before you start, but if you're like us and you forgot, now is a great time to do it. Okay, so I'm just going to start mashing up the bananas. Okay, and then just add your mashed up bananas into your mixture. Okay, we've just added the bananas, and now we're adding two teaspoons of vanilla, and then we're gonna blend that up. So once you've got that blended good, all the dry ingredients are in here. It's kind of good to just mix all them together and then add them. So we're gonna put that in, and then this needs to be blended for one minute. Okay, this goes into a 10 by 15 jelly roll pan, and I did not know what that was. So for anybody who doesn't know what it is, it's just kind of a smaller cookie sheet. So what's the difference? It's just smaller? Yeah, just a little bit smaller than the bigger ones. We're just going to spread that out, and then we will put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You just wanna make sure to spread that out then once you have it on there. Okay, these are the ingredients for the brown butter frosting. You're going to need a half cup of butter, four cups of powdered sugar, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, and three tablespoons of milk. Okay, I'm adding a half cup of butter to a saucepan. I'm going to put it on the heat, and that's going to melt, and I'm just going to start whisking that together, and you're going to want to do it nonstop. So my mom is over there whisking that all together. I'm coming over here so it's not quite so noisy, but you need to whisk it constantly so that it doesn't burn to the bottom. And once it turns brown, you need to remove it from the heat because it goes from being brown to burnt really, really quickly. So watch it really close. Once it turns that golden brown, remove it from the heat. And then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. Perfect. Good job, mom. Okay, and now we're going to add our other ingredients. Before we add the rest of our ingredients to the butter, we're going to put it in this bowl, mix it together, and then add all of it together. So I'm putting in the powdered sugar, four cups, the milk, and the vanilla, and it's one and a half teaspoons. And we just pour that butter in with that. Whisk it together a little bit, and then we'll beat it with the beaters. When you're mixing this, it needs to be thicker than a glaze, but a little bit thinner than frosting. And so just beat it until you get the consistency you want, because you might need to add just a little bit more milk to it. It's not. All right, the frosting is done, and of course, we have to give the kids the this mixer. the best part. Did you guys do that when you were little? Yay! Doesn't it smell so good down here? Mm-hmm. You guys... When we walked down the stairs, we are like, mm, that smells so good! Braylee said, I'm gonna die! It smells <laughs> so good! <laughs> okay, we have the cake out. It's just over there, and we're going to be adding the frosting glaze. And the banana cake is done, and we're going to add the frosting while the cake is still warm so that that can just melt right into that. Just spread that all over. You guys seriously have to make these. They smell amazing. So this frosting is like a caramel frosting. That's what it tastes like. Like a maple. 
and maple caramel. It's so yummy. Okay, you guys, that is it. I hope that you were able to follow along with us and make this sweet treat. Thank you so much for teaching us. You're welcome. They're very sweet, my mom said. I can't wait to dig in. We're gonna let them cool down for a minute and then we're all going to have a treat. I can't wait. Please let us know if you try these. And I mentioned before, but my mom and I are going to be making a couple more cooking videos together. So watch for those over the summer. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.